Good morning, YouTube. Welcome in. Today, we've got a beautiful build for you. Today, we're building for our good friend, Random Rob. If you know who Random Rob is, you've probably seen some of his clips like one of these right here. He is a PUBG content creator and he makes some epic content. An OG good friend of the channel and a friend of mine. And I can't wait to build this beautiful PC for him. And, and today, not only are we building a beautiful PC for him, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of upgrades. So we're building, we're starting off, we're starting with 3900K, we're pairing with a beautiful LS720 cooler, we're putting in the whiteout, H7 flow coming in from NZXT, it's the RGB version of that case. We've got an RTX 4080, I think we're gonna put, originally put a Ventus in here, but we upgraded him to the Gaming X Trio in white as well, to go that whole aesthetic that Rob was looking for. Uh, we got 6800 megahertz of DDR5 in the team group uh, RGB kit coming in as well. We've got a two terabyte KC3000 drive, and Rob wanted to record all of his content on a beautiful four terabyte performance drive in the Western Digital Black. When I said, you know what? I've got a 10 terabyte Western Digital Black drive right here calling all that content you need to record. So we're gonna upgrade them to a 10 terabyte drive as well. Let us know what you think down below in the comments on this beautiful build. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Wanna catch us live, unedited, raw, like I am talking right now as I record this. Join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints, and we hope to see you soon. All right, guys, let me get all the parts off the top here. Two terabyte KC3000 drive, we've got our 13700K, we've got our 10 terabyte drive we upgraded for Rob. I had a couple of these hanging around that I'm gonna be working on um, for our uh, NOS. We're gonna eventually have a NOS here. My goal is to start recording the streams for Travis in like a 25 bit, uh, 25,000 bit rate, so he has a little higher quality, potentially even 4K uh, for stuff like our TikTok and our YouTube shorts, stuff like that, to even get the, great, uh, the quality a little bit higher. All right, let's go top down, guys. Let's get our motherboard out. Let's get started. First off, Z790 Edge Wi-Fi board. Absolutely beautiful board. If you're doing whiteout and you want to go with MSI, this is the board to get. Nope. Let's look down at the pins. All the pins are intact. Everything looking great. Let's grab our CPU, 1300K. Fantastic. Let's drop it down and in. We're in our slot. There we go. Pop it down, latch it down. There we go. CPU is down and in. Next, we're gonna work on our NVMe drive. Primary NVMe drive, take the cover off. Two terabyte drive is our primary drive today. Sometimes these screws are a little finicky right here with the uh, latch, so we're just gonna take it out, put it down on top here. All right, guys, we get our cooler. It is, yeah, it is UPS. All right, all of our 1156 and 1200 standoff screws out of the way. Along with AM5, we don't need any of that. We can all go in back in the bag, back in the motherboard box. We've got, all right, so let's look, get the RAM in next. So we have a 1300K, we have our standoffs in place, our two terabyte drives in here. Let's get our 1600 megahertz of DDR5 in here. And then we'll review everything on the board before we get the case out. Today's RAM, 6800 megahertz, DDR5, 32 gigs, coming in from Team Group in the Delta RGB. Like I said before, we really love this kit of RAM. Absolutely beautiful on the aesthetic. Goes down and in. Second, second stick going down and in. There we go. Absolutely killer kit. 1300K on the Z790 Edge Wi-Fi board. We have 6800 megahertz of DDR5 the, and right here with the team group. A two terabyte, a terabyte NVMe drive coming in the KC3000 from Kingston. Everything's looking absolutely beautiful. We're gonna slide this aside and get this beautiful case out. Today we have the H7 Flow RGB. Beautiful H7 Flow RGB. Let's get it all opened up. All right, let's go top down right away. We're gonna get our screws out of the back here. We're gonna get started on getting the motherboard mounted. The first thing that we do, motherboard will go in, then we'll work on getting that four ter or a 10 terabyte drive, say four terabyte, 10 terabyte today. Okay, I'm gonna get the screws in here on the motherboard. Get some of our front panels, or front, or front connections in really quick chat. There we go. Get some of our cables in. We've got our type C, our USB 3.0 headers to run now. Get these in really quick. Once we get these in, we can start working on power supply. Here's our type C. Next will be our USB 3.0. Get all the cables managed in the back. Let's throw in our front panel connection really quick for our switches, our front panel switches. Get those in. Let's get our hard drive out really quick. That's gonna be next. And then we're gonna work on our power supply. Here's our hard drive tray. We get the hard drive mounted next chat. Yeah, vertical, vertical, um, vertical GPU is problematic if you use the right riser cable. Very problematic. So we don't typically do it unless it's like some of the height, height cases. And then we don't even use those cases that often. All right, hard drive's in. We have a thousand watt coming in from MSI today. Oh, our cables we need today. 
Cables today, 24 pin main, our dual EPS, SATA, and our 12 volt high power. Let's get our, our, our uh, power supply out. All we have left is our 12 volt high power. We're trying to run down through the case now. Just easier later. 24 pin main motherboard ATX power is now in. Up and in with our HD audio connector. After this, all we have to do is get our EPS involved before we work, start working on the cooler. I'm trying to work on some of the cable management here in the bottom in the meantime. This is our PWM for our CPU cooler here in a little bit for our fans. Run this over. There we go. Let me get our cooler out. Our FC fans, beautiful white fans. Let's get all these fans on here. Cable management view, view as we are ready to mount the pump. In. There we go. All right, two screws are in. Be the front cable management view as we get the rest of these screws in. All right, guys, time for the GPU. Cooler is all in except for the last couple of screws. All the, all the uh, cables are in. All right, guys, get this behemoth out. Look at this thing. I mean, this thing is honestly, it's a 4090 in terms of size. It's huge, dude. Expansions are opening. Yep, we're taking those expansion slots out. Three of them to be in fact. All right, let's get all this little ASMR for you. Ready? Here we go. I'll look deeply into your eyes, okay, while we do this. Yeah, I'm done. I want to get a TOS band. <laughs> All the music's off, so we can do the nice little thick insertion. In we go with the beautiful RTX 4080 Gaming X Trio in white. You ready for the thunk? Because, boy, you're going to hear it in today's build. Three, two, one. Ooh, she's she thick. She thick. You would put the support stands in. No, I would actually send Rob one to get to recommend. That's a little bit sir. I mean, this is actually really, it's really good. It's, this is really supportive motherboard plus the case. There's one you get on Amazon for like 10 bucks, Rob, I'll send you a link. Just put it right here, it'll help prop it up right there. This GPU is actually really good. The three, the three slots that MSI uses versus the two slots, and then just getting a little white one right here is all you need. Yeah, we don't ship it with, we don't ship, the reason, the reason we don't ship with the GPU in is because you don't want to worry about this getting damaged in transit, waiting for anything. We ship it out of it. We send you a video on how to put the video in. The one thing I always say, well, I've got Rob here, and everybody else is buy, buying a PC. When you're putting these in, Brick can attest to it, this cable right here is one of the most finicky, finicky cables you've ever bought in your entire life. If you don't see it correctly, the accessory pins, there's four little accessory power cables on the top of this. If these cables aren't getting the, the thing, you can have like black screens or crashing. So you wanna make sure when you set this in, you put this cable in right, you push in directly straight in, not on an angle or anything like that. You wanna go straight in, straight on, just like this. Get it in and then push it directly in. Want to make sure you get seated well, you hear it click. And let it be. Don't put any strain on or anything like that. You want to have all that power right into that GPU, and then you're good to go. So, Rob, should turn up this beautiful PC, light it up, get all these panels back on in the meantime. There we go. There we go. Panels are all on. Guys, thanks for another awesome video. Thank you for stopping and showing us the love here on our YouTube channel. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that like button. If you like what you see even more, hit that sub button. And remember, we build these PCs you see live here on our YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday now over at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, say hello, watch us build the PC, and ask any questions you have, and let's go.